in the kitchen now with Karen Doster from the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Great to see Good you. Good to see you too, Amy. Thanks. Uh, you, you, June is Dairy Month, <laughs> and we're going right. to talk about that and all the different cool things going on in Wisconsin coming up. But first, we're going to talk about this recipe because I'm super excited about this. There's a restaurant I go to when I travel, and they have a Caesar salad on the menu, and they do these Parmesan crisps. Mm -hmm. and it just it makes the salad. They're so delicious. I've always you know wondered how do you make them at home, and you say anybody can do this. Oh, these are so easy, and actually you know they they're very quick, and it uses Wisconsin Parmesan cheese, which has this great nutty, wonderful flavor to it. And really, what you want to do is you want to take a sheet pan and put some um, parchment paper or some of the nonstick foil or a silicone pad on there. Okay. And then I have some uh, Wisconsin Parmesan cheese here. And any special kind or just, uh, just any kind of Wisconsin? But Parmesan. you need to shred it yourself. Right. Okay. Well, you know, you can't get it in the container already pre-shredded. I found when I worked with it, I really liked the fresh. It had more of the flavor. So. Okay. okay. But the other would work as well. Okay. So if you're in a you know hurry and, and that's what you had that will work. Okay. So uh, what we're going to make are these Parmesan crisps. About a teaspoon of shredded cheese is mm. what's recommended. The one thing I noticed, Karen, though, is that you're using a really fine mm -hmm. shredder. Yes. So sometimes the shreds that come in the container are a little bit thicker. Right, uh, right. So that, that made that a difference. That seemed to work the best okay. for me. Okay. okay. So even like a microplane, would that work? That yeah. might almost be a little bit too um, They come in fine, different sizes. But if, you know, so, you could try that. Uh, but if you're using like a box grater, you want to use the real fine part of it. I would recommend okay. that. Okay. The key is watching. I think that if you, the smaller it is, it's going to probably cook faster okay. and you could burn quicker. So okay. um, you can kind of play around with that. I'm just using this to kind of help me. But uh, about a teaspoon, you want to kind of make it into a nice little circle. Like and a that's little all pancake. It is. Yeah, okay. Okay. that's all it is. And then this goes into a 375 degree oven. About six, seven minutes. My oven at home was about five minutes. Key is watch it, okay? Kind of a light uh, golden brown. Okay, so you don't want to burn it. Don't go beyond yeah. that, then it starts burning, and then it will get sort of bitter. So you okay. want to make sure they're really nice. Okay, so we've done what a bit, you know, eight mm -hmm. or ten of these. Mm -hmm. Can you make them a little bit bigger if you want yeah, to? Yeah, that okay. would work as, as okay. well. I've even seen them. Um, people do them in like muffin cups, mm -hmm. so that you can put a salad or something yeah. right in mm -hmm. the whole thing. So yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, so. really fun. So we're gonna keep an eye on this, and <laughs> you're gonna remind us three seventy five. And we're going to check it at, at about five minutes. Five minutes, so. yeah. Okay, very yeah. cool. And, you know, that's almost like a crouton for a salad. It's, it's serving the same kind of purpose, yeah. but it has that Parmesan yeah, bite so to it. Good. So good. June Dairy Month. Um, yes, it is. I know this is the, the month where there are breakfasts on the farm, and uh -huh. when I used to take the kids were little, uh, you know, city slickers didn't get out to the farm, so it's a really fun opportunity to kick the kids out there, and you're not going to find a better breakfast. Uh. That's right, that's <laughs> right. And, you know, there's over 60 farms this June that are opening them up throughout the state where you can go and visit them, um, you know, actually, you know, have a wonderful breakfast, see where our milk comes from, see the cows being milked, take a, a hayride through the farm, face painting, tractor poles, all kinds of fun events yeah. for the whole family. They're really neat. Yeah. Each one's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's fun sometimes to hop in the car and go to one that a county that you've never been to before. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, the food, like I say, these people go all out. Um, it's usually eggs and sausage and, mm -hmm. and ice cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, can't forget that either. Yeah, so, exactly. you know, in Wisconsin, we produce over 26 billion pounds of milk a year. So all of that goes into making the cheese and the and the yogurt and the ice cream and the sour cream and all those wonderful dairy products yeah, it's that we a special have thing, right here. These breakfasts are and these families open up their homes and they really work hard. You know, open up their farms and they mm -hmm. pick a different host family That's every right, year. Every so year. It's and neat. we have a special website, dairydaysofsummer.com. Okay. You go there, you can find all the farm breakfasts throughout the state, other events, recipes. It's a really go to source, tells you all the details, everything, what it costs. Uh, directions, everything like that. So Very cool. visit that. Okay, so our Parmesan crisps are in the mm -hmm. oven. Right. Uh, we've still got a couple more minutes, and I'll check on them. And now we're going to do a salad mm -hmm. that really goes nicely um, with, uh, you know, on t uh, with the Parmesan crisps. That's right. This is a Parmesan chopped salad. Very simple. We have some wonderful vegetables here. Okay. I'm going to get to work on cutting okay. up. Uh, this is just a yellow pepper. Yeah, yellow pepper. We're going to take a, a half of a, a pepper. Okay. Yellow pepper, a half of a red pepper. Okay. And uh, it also includes some red onion. Uh, some uh, artichoke, canned artichokes, at about a half a cup, and some Kalamata olives. So lots of beautiful color in there. I say, now this is also what I like about it, it's a make-ahead. So if you're grilling burgers yes. or steaks, mm -hmm. and you know, some salads, you really can't make them ahead because they get mushy. So this actually calls for 
marinating it. Marinating yeah, vegetables. we're marinating it. We're actually, I'm getting a half a cup of um, Italian dressing. So what you said, you can marinate the vegetables, and then at the very end, we're going to chop up our romaine lettuce and toss it all together, and you're done. So Love it. definitely ahead of time. So yellow pepper, red, red pepper, pepper, some sliced red onion. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. These are uh, uh, canned artichoke hearts that have been uh, drained. And okay. it looks like you chopped them a little bit? Yeah, chopped them up a little bit. I bought the quartered, uh, already quartered, and just kind of rough chopped okay. them from there. And about a quarter cup of Kalamata olives. So those are those Greek olives, pitted ones, and I have them. Yum. So delicious. Look at the there. color. Beautiful. Talk color. about different, you know. And salads can get so boring that I'm always looking for different recipes. Now, we use a bottled Italian dressing. Mm -hmm. uh, I would assume you could certainly make your own. Any kind, yeah. yeah. Any kind of Italian dressing that just kind of marinates that and then toss that around. And uh, it suggests 15 to 30 minutes, you know, even longer than that would be fine depending upon your timing. Day of though, I would definitely do yeah. it. If you're gonna mm -hmm. do it, you know, morning of, oh, check for cheese, okay. <laughs> Oh, no, we're not Just quite there. A minute or so I'm, what's happening is I'm starting to smell it, starting to smell really <laughs> nutty, so we're getting there. Now, romaine, when does this go in? This goes in right before you're going to serve. Okay. You want to take a one romaine heart and kind of rough chop it. Okay. And that will go into it. So you can get this all done mm -hmm. in the fridge, but right. you don't want, want the romaine in here because that will get right. soggy. Right, right. Okay. This goes in at the last minute. Mm -hmm. We'll throw this in. Yeah. Yum, I'm really about yeah. this. You see chop salads at a lot of restaurants, so it's really nice to... A, a nice, know. yeah, kind of a nice uh, summer salad, and mm -hmm. then you just kind of toss that around. And then when you serve it, then that's where you top it with those wonderful Parmesan crisps, mm -hmm. and that adds some great flavor to it. And in fact, you can uh, even toss in some additional uh, shredded cheese for some uh, Parmesan cheese for some extra flavor. I'm all well. about that. More <laughs> cheese, more better. It's June Dairy Month. Okay, there you so. go. This you can, you know, take it to the table in the bowl, but you said individually plating it yeah, with the crisp whatever would is going to be kind of mm -hmm. nice. What, what a nice salad for a dinner party, like you say, something different. And it's pretty light, too. A lot yes, of vegetables, uh -huh. just that little bit of cheese It on could the go top. good with anything, your, your uh, sandwiches that you've made, anything that you do on the barbecue. Again, very quick and easy to make. And all those summer vegetables oh, in there. Okay. Let's go check on the crisp one more time, and if they're not done, we have some that are already oh, done. Yeah. Okay. And that's a good thing about the crisp too. You can make them ahead of time. Okay. <laughs> yes. Like even a couple of days. Yeah. And just put yeah. them in like a Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. I just want to check on these one they more stay. time. So oh, yeah, these are done. Perfect. And they, I like you say, it's so important not to overdo it. That's right. Okay. So at this point, do we get them off right away? And, uh, right. And or do you let them cool? Uh, you can maybe cool for a few seconds there, uh, and then you want to place them onto a paper plate where they'll uh, completely cool, and that doesn't take long because they're so thin and then you're ready to go. Oh my goodness. They smell so good, they're they, good just by themselves. Oh, no <laughs> kidding, yum. But we have some over here, and then yep. you just put one or two on top. Uh -huh. Yep, makes it look real oh, pretty there. Yum. All right, Karen, I hear you're making a uh, killer dessert coming up. <laughs> Tell us about uh, this one. Quadruple chocolate icebox cake. Ooh. Four kinds of chocolate in there from different, you know, chocolate milk, chocolate pudding. Bring it on. <laughs> can chocolate hardly syrup. Wait. So it will be delicious. Stick around. That <laughs> recipe's coming up. And if you're looking for this chopped salad recipe, you can get it on our website, fox11online.com. Click on the living tab and recipes and they'll be right there.